take surveys, which is a great way to ask other users in the community questions, and then they can highlight their answers. So here's a great example, and here's another. And this is a really fun way to make your games social. So let's dive in. This isn't that much different from drawing. So if you've watched the drawing video or you know how to draw already, then it's basically the same thing. We're just going to add text. So let's drag out our title. So I'm going to drag out a text object. I'm just going to call it um, fun survey. And then I'm going to drag out another text object. And it's going to say, do you like cats or dogs more? So the idea is that the player is going to be able to highlight cats or dogs, and then when they remix it, you'll see what their preference is. So let's drag out yet another object, but this one we're not going to name. So press cancel here, and let's add a new rule. And the first rule is going to make the background a color. I'm going to make it like blue maybe. So when the play button is tapped, which just means when the project starts, I'm going to go to drawing, I'm going to drag out a leave a trail. And I'm going to pick my background color. I'm going to pick uh, this color. And the width, to make the whole background a color, I'm going to make the width a really big number, like 3,000. And then move forward, I can just make that one. So it's basically drawing a giant dot that covers the entire screen. We'll see what it looks like. Cool. OK. Now, let's drag out yet another text object. And we don't need to name this either. And let's add a new rule. Now, this is the object that will highlight words when you press your finger on the iPad. So for the when, go to more and pick blank is pressed, not tapped, pressed. And then pick iPad. And press check. And go to drawing and drag out a leave a trail. And pick the color you want to be your highlighting. I'm going to pick yellow. And the width, let's make it like 80. And then drag out this move forward block, just discard it, and let's put in move to my finger. Okay? Well, let's play that. So if you notice, I'm taking my finger off the iPad and putting it on other spots, and it's like making a straight line there. We don't want that. We want to be able to take our finger off. So let's go back to edit, and let's add one more rule to this object, and pick when the iPad is tapped for when and then just drag on a move to my finger. And that way, it will jump to where my finger is if I take my finger off and then onto the screen before it draws a line. So now let's see. OK. Do you like cats or dogs? Now someone can remix this by picking that. Um, I think 80 might be too thick, though. So let's go back to this rule. It says iPad is pressed. And let's make it like 50. It always depends on the size of your text. So now I can say, I like dogs more. Right? So then if you have more, if I added another text object, I could say, do you like bananas or clementines more? That's like the second question. I can press play. You like I like cats and I like clementines. So people can fill out whole quizzes about themselves and then you can learn more about other hopscotchers. Okay, so hope you learned a lot, and I'm so excited to see all the cool surveys you make with this. All right, bye.